Hello my friends, welcome back to another video and today's not going to be a paint pouring video. This video is going to be a trash to treasure but not necessarily trash. Um, what I'm going to be doing today, my grandmother who is 88 years old has an old, really old Singer sewing machine and um, it had been stored away for a few years and had some rats get to it and tear chew up the cover of the uh, sewing machine. So what I'm going to do um, is redo the cover of this for my grandma. It's very special to her. My, um, my mom learned, sorry. My mom learned to sew on the sewing machine. So, and I'm gonna have this done. <laughs> for my grandma before Mother's Day, or at least on Mother's Day. So let me show you what I'm doing here and we'll get to it. Okay, so this is the sewing machine itself. And it is very old. I'm sorry about the glare. I have no idea what that says on it. Guarantee something? Care, quarantine? I don't know. Can't tell what that says, it's old. <laughs> But this is, let's see if this will tell us. I don't know, this is where my grandma used to go get it fixed. But this is right here where the rats have chewed up on and it. Right here, it's been chewed on. So what I'm doing is taking off all of this red maroon like um, alligator type looking. <laughs> cover. I'm going to have a hard time trying to do that part of it. So this is the first part. This is the bottom, the main piece component of the sewing machine. It is really an awesome, awesome sewing machine. And um, I will take you outside to show you the other part of it because I have already started that and then I decided, you know what, it may as well record this because I never did record a trash to treasure. So as I said, it's not trash. It's definitely a treasure. So hold please. Okay, my friends, I apologize. Right now for the noise in the background, we are having some trees cut down. Oh, thank God it stopped. <laughs> okay, so this is the case to the sewing machine. And as you can see, I've already started sanding it. And these I cannot get off. I tried to knock them out, but they're not coming. So I'm going to have to work around these. And then I got to try to find something to put inside this crease. Because they had some kind of, where am I at here? There we go. Thread in it. So I got to try to find something like that. Or, I don't know, I may just see it. I may just fill it in with putty, I don't know yet. But then I got this inside of this thing too that I have to consider. So, the sanding, I will go. First I'm using 180 grit sandpaper and then I'm gonna put use some 320 grit sandpaper because I don't want to damage this any more than it already has been damaged and I will probably put some putty in here as well to get this nice and straight because I will be putting some fabric on it. I was going to use vinyl but I was told that vinyl is probably going to be too hard to try to work with to get it into these creases and just all over the place it's going to be too hard especially like on the edges right here as well. So this is what I'm doing and I will speed you through part of this so you don't have to watch all of it, but I would like you guys to see my final piece. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
goodness, was that a workout? That was a lot of work and so dirty. Ah! Anyway, so um, I was opening up the bottom part of this to see how I was going to go about recovering the bottom part of this. And I did tell you that this was a very important sewing machine to my grandma. Well, it just so happens that I found the original sales receipt from my grandfather buying it for my grandma on the year my mother was born. The first payment was due on, I wasn't born yet obviously, but on my birthday. <laughs> so check this out. I want to show you the inside of the machine too. Look at that. How old this thing is. Singer. Yep. Standard sewing machine. 1952. First payday or first uh, payment due of a look at that eleven dollars and eighteen cents. Anyway, let me show you the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hold uh, this thing very. Whoo, it's heavy. But yeah, see, look at this thing. It's gonna be hard. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, <laughs> but. This thing, I believe I can unscrew right there and there. So I should be able to take this piece off and then work on trying to get this piece right here out. This is the foot pedal, so that's obviously comes out easily enough. But this, I don't know how I'm going to get that out of there. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you the underneath of that and the sales receipt. I couldn't believe that. Well, actually I can. My grandmother keeps everything, but <laughs> I'd never seen it. So, all right, on to step two.